What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to add multiple domain names to your Canva website. So you might wanna do so if you already purchased a domain name with your business name. And let's say you want to purchase additional uh, domain names with the same business name, so that like your business.com and .net and .online .tech, like these kind of domains. So you wanna purchase like a couple of domain names so that um, all of them will redirect the customers to your uh, main domain. So let's say you purchase like your business name.com and you already purchased also your business name.net so that when your customer types in these two uh, like domains, they'll be redirected to the same website. You can add them both and plus other domain names to the same Wix website. So let's get right to it. Here, as you can see, I'm on my Wix dashboard. Here are all my sites that I created. And I must tell you that you need to note that in order to add a domain name, a custom domain name to your Wix website, you'll need to be on a paid plan. So you need to be subscribed to a paid plan. You cannot do so on the free uh, Wix subscription. So here, as you can see, uh, this is the uh, site that I subscribe to the premium plan on. So um, I'll do uh, so on this site. So all you need to do is click on the site itself here. <clears throat> and it'll open up the site settings and the main site dashboard here you can see all the menu items that you can do or, or all the settings that you can edit on your website in our case we want to go to settings here from the menu from this menu that is on the left and you want to go to domains so click on domains and here, as you can see, I already connected a custom domain. That's how to simple dot tech. Um, so you have two options here. You can add an existing domain or you can buy a new domain from within Wix. So uh, in our case, I got uh, another domain name from uh, Namecheap. Uh, that's how to simple dot online. So my same uh, business name. It's only the difference of dot online dot tech. And and you might also get like .site.com, .net, whatever you want. Um, and the other domain name that I connected was from another domain name provider. So this will work um, no matter wh which domain name provider you choose. So let's click here on add existing domain. Uh, you can connect a domain that you already own or transfer your domain to Editor X. So in this case, I'll connect a domain that I already own. And it'll ask you to enter your domain right here. So I'll click on uh, the uh, name cheap uh, page on my domains and I'll copy uh, my domain. That's how to simple dot online. And um, I'll just paste it right here. Okay. And then click on let's go. And it'll tell me that this domain name is taken. So uh, don't be frightened when you see this message. It's taken, of course, because I'm the one who purchased it. So um, I'll just need to click on yes, I own this domain. Okay, click on it. It'll find the domain name provider. And here it tells me that it found the domain at, at Namecheap. So um, I'll just need to confirm that it is for indeed from Namecheap. So yes, it's from Namecheap. And here it'll give me like a uh, like a guide on how to uh, connect this custom domain name. And it also uh, tell me you need to, to uh, note that it might take up after, of course, I finish the setup. It might take up to 48 hours to uh, fully uh, connect the domain name to my site. So uh, first I'll need to be logged into my name cheap and can update the domain settings. So I've already logged into my Namecheap account and I go to click on manage right here next to the domain to manage its settings. Okay. And once you're there, you'll see here a name service. So uh, here is where you want to add your name service or the values provided to you by the Wix uh, website. So go back to Wix here, do this tutorial. I'll click here on start. And uh, it'll get you like uh, to the tutorial to like the steps. So I logged in already to namecheap.com and then um, I opened the uh, domain settings. So I logged in, I found my domain 
and then I'll go to manage. I'll click. I did click on manage next to my domain name and found the section title name server. So I already found it. It's under domain. And if you don't find it here in the name servers, make sure you select custom DNS. So if Namecheap basic DNS or web hosting DNS is selected by default, you won't see name servers. However, you need to uh, select custom DNS. Okay, back to the tutorial. Okay, I found the name servers. So you will need to add these values. So in name server one, you need to add this value NS13. So copy this value and add it in the name server one. So paste and then copy this value and add it to name server two. So copy this value, added it to name server two. Okay. And then click on save. It'll take a couple of moments and the uh, values will be added. So now uh, your website is connected and it tells you that it uh, the DNS server update might take up to 48 hours. So that's what uh, like uh, the uh, play tutorial here uh, warned you about so it might take up to 48 hours once you complete the setup okay so um, here you might note that it restarted the tutorial if I leave it like uh, without action for some time so okay I logged in found my domain found the name servers and make sure the name servers are the same here they didn't uh, change anything okay okay let's restart again you have to be quick uh, here okay added them and now it's verifying the connection. Okay, now it tells you that your part is done and it'll be connecting by the end of February 15th. That's after two days because today is February uh, 13th. Uh, and it'll update you on my uh, email here. So um, here it tells you that your part is done. Now you need to uh, like wait and for or wait for your domain name to be connected. So if I go to the domains page here on my Wix website and um, you'll see here in a moment that I have now two domains. One is already connected because I added it like a while ago and the other one is uh, like not connected. It's checking the domain and it's connecting it to uh, the uh, Wix website. However, you uh, did what you need to do. You don't need to do anything else. And you only need to wait for the connection to be active. And for once your customer like uh, enters how to simple dot online, they'll be redirected to your main website. That's how to simple uh, dot tech. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to connect multiple domain names to your Wix website. And you can add also uh, additional domain names so it's not only like two domain names that's it you can add multiple domain names with the same method and if you don't already have a domain name you can click here on buy a domain and search for a domain name that you want so if i search for example for how to simple okay let's go so my business name like is how to simple okay i don't need how to simple.com It'll give me like alternatives, how to simple.info.org.shop, and you can get the domain name that you want. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. That's how easy it is to add multiple domain names to your Wix website.